So this is a bit awkward. <laughs> um, to get the camera and the microphone in a place that doesn't suck is like... I don't know how people do it. I, I've watched so many YouTube videos of, of ASMR and of just regular things, and you can like not often see the microphone and the camera. They're they're able to just look at it without like I had to look. <laughs> it's very strange. It's it's gonna be fine though. Okay, so. What I want to do is, I want to get this whiteboard, I guess, here, here, and the camera, yeah. Um, I don't remember how I attached this. So that feels pretty on there. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna, I'm gonna give it some. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna give it some. Okay, that's nice. Um, it looks much better. It's I kind of ruined it. It the top is um. This like Velcro, and how it works is the Velcro connects to an adhesive that is attached to the whiteboard, which is ended up being fine on the bottom, but on the top, you can see the adhesive part didn't stay attached the whiteboard now something <laughs> something that's amazing is i've i've not filmed for years years yes years and that's because i didn't i didn't, I didn't want to i i have a, a serious sort of motivation problem um with everything, with, with everything, and and this is one this is one of one of many things that I, despite enjoying, it, that's the thing. I'm not. This doesn't feel like work, yet I treat it like it's work, in in the sense that I'm like, I'm not doing that. But it's like a hobby. It's I, I like doing it for fun. But I like reading. Oh my god. That was almost a disaster. I like reading for fun. Um, I like playing games. Like um, I like Stardew Valley I've been playing recently. I like Counter-Strike. Um, Factorio is incredibly fun. These are all games, of course. Games are fun. And I'll have periods where I just won't play games. I just, I can't, I can't even make myself play games. So this is all to say that going on random two-year breaks, three-year breaks, five-year breaks, that's just who I am. I don't, I don't know what my problem is, but that's, I'm not, I don't treat this like work, I don't hate doing it, but I won't be consistent Unless I suddenly, as a 31-year-old, completely change who I am fundamentally. Which I would love to do. I would love to feel motivated to do things. That sounds awesome. Um, if you're a person who feels motivated to do anything, like any any one thing, never mind multiple things, you you should you should feel good about that. I I really think people might take that for granted. You might have many other things that you struggle with, 
that I don't have to struggle with. And I should figure out what those are and then try to not take that for granted for myself. But I don't, I don't know what they are because I'm not, this is like a one way feed of information here. <laughs> uh, anyway, as I were saying, what was I saying? Oh, yes. This is exciting. Um, so this is the first time I've been motivated. I literally was asleep and I, I just woke up and, and it was like, and I'm making, I'm going to make a video. Like I, I actually want to do that. It's kind of, it's kind of bizarre how that happens to me. And, and anyway, so it's been years and I can't, I, I can't remember the last time my wife, <laughs> my Jesus Christ, my sister's husband, not my wife, that is the weirdest thing I've ever said. My sister's husband is, is listening to a movie in the living room, which is on the other side of this wall, and it is extremely loud. It's And I, and I can't remember the last time that they've watched a movie. It, it Also, it's 1.30 in the morning, <laughs> so... I, it's just that it's it's serendipitous the timing but i don't i've watched plenty of youtube videos with ambient noise it's not a problem at all and and i'm always i always wish the content creator the asmr person wouldn't even bring it up because in my mind it just drawing attention to it makes it worse and i've spent I don't have a timer. I get, oh, here it is. I've spent at least five minutes talking about it now. Okay, so anyway, um, what I wanted to do was I personally spend an absolutely ridiculous amount of time with an ASMR video open on my computer or on my phone. Um, whether or not I'm actively watching it is you know, up in the air, but I, I actively watch more than half the time, I'd say. Mm. No, because passive time really adds up, but I, I do actively watch, especially on my first, um, viewing of the video, but the, 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 just the importance of ASMR in my life is very strange. If I had to go back to when I was a wee little version of myself and say, you know, when you're 30, you're going to watch people um, quietly talk and do things for, for vast blocks of time during the day while you're studying or playing chess or doing whatever you're doing online. You're just, that's just going to be happening. I would say, wow, you're from the future. <laughs> anyway, anyway, sorry. Uh, so as I was saying, I spend a, like, sorry, I get used to looking at the actual camera because like I have a picture of myself right here and I'm, I don't look at myself, you know, see how it looks, but then I go, yeah, look at the camera, but the, I can't see what's happening on the camera. It's very frustrating. Okay, so the camera's in a very weird spot. But as I was saying, the I like it. I, so uh, it's for something I dedicate so much of my life to, or I'm dedicate my life to it, but uh, like occupies my life, I I feel I know it well, or at least... I've put a lot of time into curating a list or a library of creators that I respect and I and I very much enjoy. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna cover some people I like and some of the particular videos maybe that they've produced that I like. So you can you know it, it's a bit of a shout out, <laughs> not that they'd ever see it. Um but it's something I think about a lot. I, I, there'll, there'll be times where I, I just have no new videos to look at from the people that I've subscribed to. 
and I and I start rewatching, which I do a lot. And I think, you know, there's probably a creator out there that I would like more than my current favorite creator, but I just don't know about them. And I, it, there, there's just so many people. It has to be true. And if it's not true, it's still a good point. There's still probably many people that are like that would overtake my top five let's say um so it's just this huge but like i don't know where to look i like search asmr and you get like all these like all the the most viewed people but is it even all of them and and i don't particularly like uh a certain like mainstream asmr not that there's anything wrong with it. I just, it's not for me. Like I don't, it doesn't grab me at all. Um, and, and I just, sometimes I just wish I had better access, better recommendations. I don't know. I really don't know. But I was thinking about this because the other day I came across a guy who's just, <laughs> fantastic and he's been doing it for years and i only just found out about him like two days ago and 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 it made me think man there's probably a lot more like this especially in um other languages you all, like the algorithm or whatever just gives me and probably you um english or whatever your main language is videos or i don't know do people who don't speak english get like english videos in with their own language just because it's like the most popular <laughs> ling like the most learned like the most i wouldn't say it's the most learned language but it's like the most likely to be a language that you would learn as your secondary language if you don't already speak it if that makes sense <laughs> So anyway, I only get like English videos. So I've, I kind of like went out of my way to find this, um, Japanese guy who, if I didn't, like, I basically found it by accident and if, and, and I've never been like recommended another Japanese channel again. And it just... And that's one culture of many that exist that I, I just literally don't ever get to see any videos of. So that sort of thing bothers me when I think about it. It's just like we're all put into this bubble and it's difficult to get out of it. So I'm going to list some dudes and gals that I listen to and watch. Just to put it out there. None of them are niche. I don't. None of them are like me who only has a hundred subscribers or whatever, but so they don't, it's not like they need any love or anything, but it's not, that's not why I'm doing it. It's more like you, you, my viewer may get a lot out of it, seeing a few people that I like, and maybe you like them too. And now you have this massively increased video library to select from. It's nice. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to clean this up a little bit. Uh, Actually, I don't know how this... Okay. I think that's good enough. Now, um, my number... Uh, my number one bio... Oh, well... Oh, that smells bad. How to say this, how to say this, how to say this, how to say this. So I feel like it could be considered bad manners to list like, you know how someone would say the phrase in no particular order? So whatever the opposite of that is, <laughs> in a particular order. So I feel like it would be bad manners, or it could be construed as bad manners to list people in a particular order, like I'm rating them. 
but they're first of all they're never going to see it and which isn't a great justification for doing something like that but i also it's like my own personal preference and you can you get to like whatever you like so i think it's okay right i think you're allowed to do that and it wouldn't be considered rude i'm not so sure but i'm gonna do it anyway um so my number my number one i'd say my favorite and and by a ridiculous margin my most view time would be ephemeral rift this guy is amazing now this is like he's got yeah he, he almost certainly has over a million subscribers so it's not like you haven't heard of him probably but if you are lucky enough to have not heard of him go check him out and subscribe and watch all of his videos on repeat like i do <laughs> Um, so it's spelled like that, I think. Let's see if I can get this a little better. better I don't know but so what he does is he well it is not easy to put into words what he does but he he's kind of more of like a creative type he doesn't do um like like a does do that but he does it in um a strange you could say way and my favorite videos from him or at least ones i watch like say i'm in bed and i don't want to like you know you can end up browsing netflix for ever before you actually watch something i do that with asmr videos too so when i'm in bed and i just gotta pick something i just type in Professor Clemens into the search bar and then I pick one of the ones that I feel like I have gone the longest without seeing you just can't can't miss with this Professor Clemens videos they're all so good and so he's got this lore and I won't spoil anything for you but it's fantastic and those are the ones I like a lot you he, he has one where he's Corvus c-o-r-v-u-s and he has like a German, like a fake German accent, <laughs> and uh, and he taps like this pumpkin that he calls Carl Pumpkin over and over again, and I, I don't know what it is about that, but like I love it. It's good, and uh, and yeah, definitely my top top dog. Okay, so what started this is this next guy. He. I, I had never seen his video for, before, and I, I was watching um, an eph ephemeral rift video where he's wearing this coif, coif. I've actually never had to say this word out loud. I'm not realizing. It's, it's C O I F, and it's like a helmet that you'd wear in medieval, medieval times. That it's like a mesh metal that you wear over your head, and it kind of comes down over your shoulder like this. Um, it, it's, so, so anyway, if I'm wrong, <laughs> is wearing something like that, and so he's like a medieval, like, soldier or something, um, in this particular video, and so in the suggested videos, they're almost always just more videos of the same channel you're watching, but for some reason, an, a channel I'm not subscribed to was in there, and it was Fred's voice, where he's wearing like an, an armor as well so i so it's a very like video i was like yeah, whatever just click this one and i 
have this character flaw where if someone's like prototypically good looking and um, like I and, and like projects confidence I guess it's hard to explain exactly what I mean but I I like instantly think they're they're gonna be like shallow or stupid or something um, and I, I really wish I, I wasn't like that I don't know why I do that I, I always just like catch myself and this dude is good looking <laughs> and he is it, like I was just like this guy's gonna like, I, I made a mistake clicking this one it's gonna just be stupid um, okay but it is that is insanely unfair first of all and is not true at all either his, first of all his rig is amazing his sound quality and his video is great much better than mine so his, his production is incredible and then he himself is actually creative um unlike me and, and that's not just like self-deprecation i'm literally not creative um i don't know why I'm just that's just not something that i've ever had but it's fine and so it, he just is so creative and he's genuine and like like authentic he you can tell he loves what he does he's being himself um and not just kind of like putting on a, a an act or whatever even when he's playing characters and uh it, and it's just i don't know i was blown away I, so i just found this guy a couple days ago and um and it's great uh, he's he's amazing so i don't know if it has an apostrophe in the channel but you'll get there by searching this he's also got millions of subscribers or like a million or something um so yeah those two but since i've just recently started watching him he's he's like pretty low on my um like total watch time let's see well i'm at my computer um so i'm kind of drawing a blank here let's just pull up my youtube here take a look ski subscribe to 71 people that doesn't seem right Man, some people are just gone, which is so sad. Like Heather Feather um, hasn't posted in a long time. Yeah. That's crazy. Oh, okay, so here's a guy. So this is the um, the Japanese guy. So this channel is completely in Japanese, and all the comments are Japanese. Like, you're... If you want to understand anything and you don't speak or read Japanese, it's going to be a bad time. But I don't personally mind that. In fact, I like to not understand what I'm hearing when I'm trying to fall asleep. Like a video that that is the one I'm doing right now would be terrible for me if I were trying to fall asleep. Because I would be like, wait, what does he say? Because um, I'm constantly jumping topics. Like you got to keep like refocusing on what the hell I'm talking so so if someone's just kind of like background noise different language you can you can't quite grasp what they're saying it, it kind of fades into the background so he's calm asmr um i think let me check that again make sure it's not calm something else where do you go Oh god, he's gone. Yeah, call me smart. There's a space. Um he he I don't I don't know what's going on with Japanese people. Um I've never been to Japan, but they it, he rather is the only Japanese person I've ever seen <laughs> like uh in, in like in isolation like i've seen people walking around in like tokyo or whatever 
but like this is him in his apartment or his house or wherever he is and so i don't know if there's something like weird about him or if like this is normal but he has like the weirdest stuff he's got like big like <laughs> things you can like um like grind to make power and like machines that make no sense that like make lights and stuff and like all these like kits to make and do stuff like i, I couldn't i'm like I'm trying to think like what does this guy do for work like wh why does he have all this stuff it's all great stuff for asmr which is great but like i can't I can't fathom how you would like organically come across the random assortment of things he shows in his videos. It's all very like medieval, like steampunky type stuff to me. Um, and I don't know if that's like a normal thing. Like if basically what I'm saying is like, I don't know if there's an explanation that makes sense to someone who is from Japan or if this guy has just got a bunch of random stuff that would like surprise even someone from Japan. You know what I mean? I don't know, but I really like this guy's videos. Um, he doesn't upload as much as uh, the previous two list uh, on the list, but when he does, I'm always happy to watch. Um, let's get a lady. You know, I gotta be diverse here. Or something. Someone current, someone who uploads. I, so the reason I'm not just like instantly picking someone is I, I subscribe to a lot of um, chess and Dota channels. So a huge percentage of the channels I'm looking at aren't actually ASMR. If you want to watch chess, Eric Rosen is amazing. Like, oh, okay. So this person makes ridiculously high quality videos of things that are like a more prototypical um like role plays you know what i mean uh she's korean maybe but she does her videos in primarily english and she does some japanese some korean some maybe another language but primarily english um oh. Today is Mario. So Latte ASMR, and she is fantastic for those types of videos. The role plays are um, just amazing, and she has a, a like a super serene and delicate demeanor that is unmatched. I'd say, uh, at least out of the pool of videos that I get to pull from from my limited exposure. Um, let's see if I uh, pick out a, a favorite here. I don't know if I've watched any, like much of this on repeat. So, so like Ephemeral Rift, I watch um, some of his videos I've seen like 10 times. Uh, but I don't, like a lot of, like I'd say almost every other um, ASMR person, I've pretty much just single watched their videos but some of them are okay so i really liked her dreaming tattoo shop asmr tattoo artist so dreaming tattoo shop um i remember that one it was very very cute and very relaxing and that, that's cute in like a non-creepy way she's like she's literally like it's literally you'll see the the whole setup is just cute <laughs> uh, although i'm sure people who say they're not being creepy can still be creepy Ah, uh, let's get one more here. I could have prepared this ahead of time. I could also edit this. Probably won't, though. To shorten it down. The Guild of Ambient. That's not a person. Man, so I, I kind of forgot, but like so many of these people just don't produce anymore. Oh, here we go. She's really good. Um, is it one word or two, though? One word. Is that Ernest? Nope. 
Nope, nope, nope. Just blue. Whisper. Uh, so. So off. Yeah, yeah, all these people have millions of subscribers, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so they're definitely not hurting for that, but they're, like, I don't, I don't really care. Like, I, like some people might, like, won't watch popular versions of things, which is, which is okay. I, I have no problem with that, but I don't, I don't find anything wrong with the more popular things either. I mean... There's a reason things are popular. Um, but yeah, she's uh, she makes really good videos. Really like her videos. She's very um, uh, it's strange. It's like I don't want to compliment the women ones because I feel like it's gonna sound weird. <laughs> Life can be so weird. But yeah, it's really good. Relaxing, really well done. Nice long videos. I like that. I like, um, I find myself not watching 15 minute videos often, even if the quality is probably great. Um, I'd much rather put on like a 45 minute video. And hers are all like at least 30 minutes, I'd say. And she has plenty that are over an hour. Quickly looking here, and yeah, she does have a few shorter ones. Yeah, and I like that. I like longer videos, for sure. For sure. So, these, these are it. Ephemeral Rift, Fred's Voice, Calm, ASMR. Latte ASMR and Blue Whisper. These are my top. Well, there are five that I picked. I wouldn't. I don't say they're my top five. Maybe I. I didn't really prepare this ahead of time. They're. They're for sure nearly the top five. Um, Fred's voice is new, but he'll be. Probably my number two. Um, for at least until I. I don't know. Find more people or something. I don't know, but. I think Ephemeral Rift, as long as he keeps creating, will always be the top, and then kind of room to fill in around the bottom. Oh, you know who my... Okay. So, I'd say replace... Well, I, so I really like Calm when he posts videos, but he doesn't post frequently. So I'd say you could, like, sub... If we're talking, like, video watch time, you could sub him out with... Um, visual sounds one i like her videos a lot i really like um the, like an accent someone with an accent is uh much more pleasant to listen to for some reason despite ephemeral or if not having a different accent from myself um but that just shows how good of videos he, he makes <laughs> um Visual Sounds, Calm, Latte, um, Fred, Blue, well, not so much Blue Whispers, but the, the others all obviously have accents. I mean, Calm doesn't even speak English, <laughs> and, uh, and, and it's good. It's very good. I like accents. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why. I wonder what that is. Do people who don't... So I consider myself to not have an accent... <laughs> Which is, I, I wonder if everyone is like that. I just kind of, I don't have a regional accent, if that makes sense. Like, people from different, people will sound like me all over the United States. But someone from Missouri who sounds like me could live next door to someone who sounds like someone from Missouri, if that makes sense. So, like, that person who sounds like they're from Missouri has an accent, and then I don't, is how I would think about it. Uh, same like there's like a California accent, but then there's people in California who sound like me. Um, I live in Maine, and there's a Maine accent which sounds insane. <laughs> anyway, I wonder. So do people who have 
who don't sound like a a could-be-from-anywhere-in-the-United-States person, do they like listening to people like me? Or do, do I have, like, the bottom-of-the-barrel accent to listen to? I always wondered that. I always wish I had, like, a like a New Zealand accent or something. I feel like people would like that a lot. But that could just be me. I don't know. So I was gone for many, many a year. Um, I've been reading The Wheel of Time. This is the second book. I really like the first one. So I like these high fantasy books, but they're... So I don't know about you guys, but I like pretty much everything. If I watch a movie, it is very unlikely that I will just hate the movie. If I read a book, I'm going to like the book. If I watch a TV series, I'm going to like the TV series. You get the point. But then I'll read reviews and they'll, they'll make me realize that I don't like the book or I don't like the movie or I don't like the show. And I don't know if they're like shaming me and making me self-conscious or what. But I hate it. I, I absolutely hate it. I So I read the Brandon Sanderson um, Stormlight books, and I really like them. I Actually, the camera is literally sitting on Rhythm of War right now. Um, and uh, I really like them. They obviously had flaws that I noticed while reading them, but not anything crazy. And, you know, like subjective flaws. Like, oh, I don't really like how this character is. Something like that. But it, it, it was just drowned out in, like, just the massively more, you know, enjoyable part of the books. And then I forgot about them. I'm like, whatever. I'm going to move on and read some more books. And then, uh, anyway, on Reddit, I go to the book subreddit and I see all, all these criticisms of the Brandon Sanderson books and his writing style and then someone explained like like a bunch of bullet points of what bothered them about these books in particular and and I and I found myself agreeing like, yes those are annoying things and you know what I think I did notice those when I was reading them and even though I liked the books a lot by the time I was finished with them. Now I feel like, you know what? Those books kind of are for like a younger audience and it really does have some cringy sort of the di dialogue here and there and, and, and like story arcs that make no sense. And, and now I find myself like self-conscious about liking the books and, and I suddenly don't think I like they're very good books. Like what is with that? I hate that. I liked the books. So now I'm, <laughs> So now, like, the next series I'm reading is this one by uh, Jordan, Robert Jordan. And he is no longer with us, unfortunately. Um, but I really liked the first book. But since I'm fresh off of this, like, realization of being self-conscious about how other people perceive books, I, I, I'm like kind of looking out for stuff that is going to like be considered as maybe bad by other people and I don't I don't I, I don't want to be like that I want that to be gone from me because I don't like I, until I was reading that reddit thread I never cared at all what people thought about books that I liked and now suddenly it matters to me if someone else likes the dialogue in a book like what, a, what is wrong with me I don't know if anyone else feels like that um, but I think it's I think it's no good so I really like the first book though I, and I'm, I almost want to say like oh I like the first book because it, it kind of like gets rid of all those problems with the that Brandon Sanderson has in his books like it, it's like a more adult version of the Stormlight Archive but then 
like a less adult version of the Malazan series, which is incredible. I'd say the Malazan series is my favorite series. Um, but so it's like kind of in the middle and it's written like a lot more st structured and easy to read. It's very structured compared to Malazan. Malazan is an absolute mess. <laughs> um, it's a, it's a mess that I love, but this is like you, well, the first one's over there, but you, it's like chapter one is like, okay, they're, they're here, you know? And then it's like, like the titles are literally like the name of the place they're in or the name of the road they're traveling down. And then the name of their destination is like the next chapter. And you know what I mean? So you, you like, it's like structured, like steps along a journey and it's, it's nice. And then it's not, there's not like weird. One thing that even before I read the Amazon reviews, Amazon reviews, Reddit reviews of um, Sanderson was, I did think his, the way he portrayed Shallan's love interest with Adeline was like really weird. I, I didn't, I didn't feel like how a girl would act in love with someone. I don't know. It felt really weird, at least to me. And um, I just didn't like it at all. And uh, so I, I, I kind of have this like, this trigger of I don't like the, like a woman's showing love toward a man in a book that's written by a man, I guess. And I don't know why, but it, it's just like, I just subconsciously am automatically like the guy doesn't know what he's talking about. So there's no way he's writing this correctly. And then I just, it makes me, um, so, so like I'll subconsciously think that as like a truth and then so while i'm reading it i'm consciously thinking like eh, i don't like this um and anyway this book kind of doesn't do that it it sticks to like the the main character's perspective instead of jumping around perspectives jumping perspectives can be nice but it's also nice to read a book that's more stable um and, and it's nice to not know exactly everyone's motives. Uh, Sanderson's books constantly jump perspectives, and you kind of know exactly what everyone's thinking and doing, because they are they all like get their own chapter all the time. And it'll be like, man, I wonder what Sadus is up to. And then, like, you know, oh, it's a, literally a chapter about Sadus. And then you read it, and he it's like his whole scheme is like right there. Um, and, it, and, and it works. But it, there's something, I'm just saying, it, it both, there's like a pros and cons sort of thing going on. And, and the Wheel of Time so far has basically all of the stories from Rand's perspective, the main character. Um, I found out after I started the first one that there's going to be a Netflix series, which is um, every single time I start reading a series, a Netflix series comes out about it. Like I started reading, or not necessarily Netflix. What I mean is like um, a TV series. I started reading um, Game of Thrones and then that got announced and was like airing as I was reading it. <laughs> um, so I'm looking forward to that. Cause I think it was supposed to be this year even, but it got like COVID delayed. So maybe it'll be out soon. Um, and... I don't know how much it's going to cover, but I'm, I'm sure I'll stay ahead of it because I'm already finishing the second book. But I really, there's 15 or 14 books in this series, which is crazy. And I guess it loses steam at some point. But it's, it's very nice to feel like I, like I enjoy reading again because I keep going like six months a year without reading at all. And not even wanting to read like it's not like oh, oh man i have no time i wish i could read it's like i have no drive to read but now i'm feeling like doing stuff again for whatever reason and that's the real bitch of it why why do i feel like learning programming again reading doing this video what is what is going on in my brain that isn't always going on.
Like, how could I make myself be like this all the time? Because I, I know other people are just like this. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't change who I am for the world. Like, I really like my identity. I like who I am. I want to be me, but I want to feel normal also. And hopefully this time it sticks. I'll finish this whole book series. I'll be a bit of a content creator and I'll get good at programming. Programming's fun, man. Um, I've just been doing it for fun. It's like, I'm not good or anything, but the whole con, like, how to say it, it's like, I'm good at math, but I don't like doing math. Like, um, I could take, like, a college math course and feel like it's very easy, and it's, and I'm not trying to be arrogant here, but, like, uh, it, you can tell when other people don't understand things at the same level as you. And so if I take, like, a math course, it's very obvious that everyone's getting confused about stuff that doesn't confuse me at all. So I know I'm good at math. But I have no motivation to be someone who knows a lot about math someone who finds math extremely difficult could become more proficient in math than me in like a year if they wanted because i just put no effort into learning anything about it um so that's too bad it's like a wasted potential i have so my point is programming i think i'm good at it it's ex it's like ridiculously hard and constantly makes me think i'm not good at it but then i realize that it's that, that like everyone thinks it's really hard but at the, if I'm not good at it I'm at the very least able to do it at least and um and it's like it's this really satisfying sort of like problem solving in chunks way of learning so what I've been trying to kind of work to here as a point is that I, I hate learning math but I'm really good at it so but I, so I don't learn anything. Um, but when I learn programming, I just do it. I like, I go out of my way to do it. So even if I'm bad at programming, let's say, like can't, can't figure it out very hard, whatever. Eventually I'm still going to be good at programming because I'm putting time into it. You, you just got to put time into stuff and you're good at it. Like that's just how it works. You try to get better at something, and you put the work in. Like, imagine you tried to learn another language. Imagine you tried to learn Japanese, which is one of my many, 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 many tried and failed passions. Um, so imagine you're trying to learn Japanese, and you, you just, it's fucking, and you're like, oh my god, there's 10,000 kanji. Like, that's insane. <laughs> and, uh, and, oh, to read one, I could pronounce it three different ways hmm that makes a lot of sense um so let's say you think you know those things but think about this don't you think that if you put an hour a day any time a day into it after a certain period of time you would speak japanese because yes you would it could be 10 years but is that even so much? Think about it. You, it just, if you just put some, literally any amount of effort into learning another language every day, like you had that kind of consistency, at the very worst, 10 years from now, you would speak another language fluently. Because, well, first of all, you at least I put 
like either no time or a lot of time into something. So the oh, say I'm gonna like learn something. I seldom, if ever, will spend 10 minutes trying to learn something. But what I will do all the time is think, oh, I'm going to just spend 5 or 10 minutes looking at this. And then what happens is I, now that I'm actually doing it, I somehow got over that motivational, like, lazy, stupid kid who can't do his work thing that's wrong with me. Um, if I can get over that. I'll, I'll spend a couple hours on it, like, no problem, and I'll, and I'll feel good after, like, oh, nice, that was nice, yeah, I'm feeling pretty fucking, yeah, maybe we will go exercise, despite the fact that I know I'm gonna feel good after doing stuff, I still don't do it, I don't know, I don't know what, I don't know if anyone out there watching is a psychologist, but <laughs> I'd love to, love to know what, what the deal is with stuff like that, um, so, but yeah, isn't that incredible? You could speak another language in five, ten years if you just, if you just, could be consistent. The question is, can you be consistent? Because I can't. <laughs> you know. Out of the many things I suck at, dealing with audio on a computer is way up there. Ow. Um, <laughs> so, there. this particular microphone has a this is like gotta be the loudest chair that's ever existed. So this microphone has like a dial, right? I think we can all agree there. So it's like a gain dial, and then in the sound settings, there's a slider. that goes to 100. So I have no idea what the difference, let's say, putting that slider at 50 and this at 100 is, or this at 50 and that slider at 100 is. But I'm certain there's a difference. Um, and I don't know how to augment, manipulate, the sound in like a audio editor in a satisfying way that ends up sounding nice and i it's it's one of the great frustrations of these videos um that i've never figured out i just want there to not be really annoying white noise but i also want the microphone to pick everything up like other people, for example, will like be tapping on something and you'd hear it, you'd hear it clearly, like there's no blocking or like gating, muffling, one of those words. And I'm not doing anything to gate or muffle or block, like I'm not, I, I'm not putting it through any like like any sort of processing at all but I, I still feel like it is like other people's setups just catch better and and don't block and they but then, and then they also don't even have the white noise it's like a win-win like I'm sitting over here lose losing and I can't help but feel like there's just something so simple like like someone could sit in front of my computer and spend five minutes and fix all my problems but I, I, I don't know. These are all just things that don't actually matter.
Yeah, when I read reviews for these books, the biggest criticism was that he goes into really crazy detail about like what people are wearing. Uh, for example, like um like overly descriptive, I guess you'd say. But I, it was kind of specifically like what people were wearing, like. the colors and and the like all all of it just really way too descriptive about Pete someone's appearance so I had that in mind when I started reading it I was thinking that doesn't matter if it gets annoying I'll just skim that stuff it's not even a problem like I, I don't know if it gets brutal later on or something but the first two books so far I love the way he describes stuff it's like so first of all, it's not a lot, but the way he does describe stuff, at least for my brain, actually gives me that like really nice picture of what's going on. Like I, I actually feel like I'm drawing it in my mind without even thinking about it. Like I'll just find myself kind of snapping out of it. Like, wow, I was like there. You know what I mean? And that doesn't happen with a lot of writers. A lot of writers, I feel... This is my like how my brain works, but I, I feel like I just have like ADD about it or something. Like I, I can't like latch on. I bet a lot of people can focus better than me, and read any book and like draw it fine. But for me, it takes like a special level of writing or something or a special style. I don't know, but this style at least for me works. I don't know if I have ADD. I, I've never been diagnosed, but I wouldn't be surprised either. Um, I, or ADHD. I don't know the difference. I, I find myself scattered, and I can't focus on stuff easily. But that's probably normal also. There's Just because something's like wrong with me doesn't mean there's something wrong with me. Because I find... I think I'm depressed, but like I also might just not do anything. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like am I depressed or am I just like oh, home alone all the time? Okay, so I'm at. What do we got here? Oh, I literally just hit one hour. I'm gonna cut some stuff out, so it'll be less than an hour when I say that. But I think we're gonna call it here. This is just like a nice little hangout and catch up, you know. I like hanging out. It's kind of like a podcast that sucks. It's like a podcast of a guy just talking. That is what a podcast is. So I guess that's not what I meant, but I don't know. I gotta, okay, so I gotta figure out looking at the camera. Alright, let's do a list of things to work on. I wanna look at the camera, not the stupid fucking screen. And I, pardon my language. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try to do these not waking up at two in the morning. Mm hmm probably come up with an idea ahead of time and do the idea uh, so what do we got so far look at the camera okay look at the camera idea ahead of time not at two in the morning or while someone's watching him he's still watching that movie it's been an hour um There's like a, a huge window of time where I'm home and no one else is here, <laughs> which makes this even better. Um, I'm probably going to, eh, I say this, but I probably won't, but I'm gonna, I'll, I'll try to figure out the sound, but I, I've said I'm going to do that like a dozen times and never actually done it. The sound probably is fine. You know? And fine is fine. Like, who needs excellent when it's fine? That's what I always say. Uh, don't invest in crypto. Um, unless you want to. Sleep well. And I'll see you in the next one. If it exists.